family members, friends, and esteemed guests, please stand if you are able for the class of 2019. The class of 2019 is led by Shania Holmes, student marshal, and followed by Chloe Belangelo carrying the university banner. Graduate degree candidates are led by Emily Town. Undergraduate degree candidates of the HTC Honors College are led by Emma Kiner. Undergraduate degree candidates of the E. Craig Wall Senior College of Business Administration are led by Austin Johnson.
undergraduate degree candidates of the Thomas W. and Robin W. Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts are led by Brett Richardson. Undergraduate degree candidates of the HTC Honors College and Center for Interdisciplinary Studies are led by Emma Kiner. Thank you. 
university faculty are led by Kristen Montgomery. The platform party is escorted by Isabel Mason, student marshal, and led by Margaret Fain, senior faculty member and carrier of the University Mace. President David A. DeCenzo is joined by members of the University Board of Trustees, university officials, and special guests. Good afternoon, Teal Nation. I'm Dr. David DiCenzo, President of Coastal Carolina University. Welcome to our 2019 Fall Commencement Program. I ask that you remain standing for the presentation of colors by the Coastal Carolina University ROTC, followed by the National Anthem led by Ashton Fowler and the invocation delivered by Reverend Emily Kirby.
graduates, faculty, staff, families, friends, trustees, and administration, I thank you for the opportunity to be with you all today. Will you join me in our invocation? To the one who sustains, guides, and empowers, we welcome your presence among us. We offer thanks for this season of growth, growing in our perspectives, growing in our humility, growing in our knowledge, both academic knowledge and the knowledge of self, growing in our tribes and communities, and the growing of our own ability. We give great thanks for Coastal Carolina University. We ask for your abundant blessing on this place, on all who are a part of this institution, and deepest thanks for the ways that it has transformed us. We ask blessings over its leadership, over its staff and faculty, and over all students graduating today and those students who will continue to provide part of the heartbeat of the university. Today, we give special thanks for our speaker, Mr. Ron Days. We ask that you strengthen him and open our ears to hear the inspiration, encouragement, and direction he has prepared to share with us this day as we together prepare for each day to come. Throughout our lives, you have guided our steps have provided strength when we could not muster the strength ourselves. Today, you give us hope for the future. May we grab fully to this joy and celebrate together all that has been and all that is to come. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you. Please be seated. This is such an exciting day for us. I'm truly honored to be here with our 2019 graduating class. And for those who may not realize it, this will be the final class to walk across the stage this decade. To our graduates, today you are living out a crowning achievement, your graduation from Coastal Carolina University. And we know the journey wasn't easy. Some of you spent countless hours in Kimball Library studying for exams and working on group projects. A lot of you had to wake up before 6 a.m. to register for classes on WebAdvisor. And I imagine at some point almost all of you texted a question to Shant411. But today you can relax because your hard work has paid off. You finally made it to the finish line and I hope you are as excited to be here today as we are to share this day with you. As each of you move forward in your lives, I hope you will positively reflect on your time spent here at Coastal. I also hope that today is just the beginning of a relationship between you and your soon-to-be alma mater that lasts for many decades to come. Now I am honored to introduce all who are with me on the platform. I ask that they please stand as I call their names and ask that you please hold your applause until all have been recognized. Our Coastal Carolina University Board of Trustees, Bill Biggs, Chairman of the Board, John Bartell, Lee Belcher, Dalton Floyd Jr., Natasha Hanna, Sherry Johnson, Dan Moore, Dr. Oren Smith, Patrick Sparks, Gene Spivey, and Will Turner. Ron Days, Vice President for Creative Education at Brook Green Gardens and today's commencement speaker. Dr. Daniel Ennis, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Barbara Ritter, Dean of the E. Craig Wall Senior College of Business Administration and Vice President for Executive Development and Career Services. <clears throat> Dr. Claudia Bornholt, Dean of the Thomas W. and Robin W. Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts. Dr. Sarah Hottinger, Dean of the HTC Honors College and Center for Interdisciplinary Studies. Dr. Robert Young, Interim Dean of the College of Graduate Studies and Research. Woody Ford, Second Vice President of the Coastal Carolina University Alumni Association. Jasmine Jackson, President of the Student Government Association. <clears throat> the Reverend Emily Kirby, member of this Chaplain Council at CCU. Margaret Fain, senior faculty member and bearer of the University Mates. 
Dr. Deborah Connor, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Brian Bunton, Chair of the Faculty Senate. Daniel Lawless, University Registrar. And Christy McIntyre, Theater Faculty Member and today's announcer of student names. Thank you all and please be seated. <clears throat> Now, you may have noticed there was one member whose name I didn't call who was not standing, and I'd like for him to please stand for a very special recognition, Mr. Chuck Lewis. Chuck? Chuck, this is his last graduation, having served on the Board of Trustees for eight years. Chuck will be leaving the board at the end of December. Chuck, I just want to say thank you for your service to this university to the faculty and staff, and most importantly, to the students of Coastal Carolina University. We appreciated all that you've done for the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> for many, our accomplishments in life come because there are others around us, guiding, encouraging, coaching, and sometimes even stepping in to help us during times of need. Today's celebration is the culmination of years of dedication by you, our graduates, with the help of those who have guided your success. So I'd like to recognize some of those who've played that role. I would like to ask some of the finest faculty that you will ever find at any university to please stand so that our graduates can say thank you. Faculty. Now, will all the mothers, fathers, family members, and caregivers who have shared this journey with your students please stand, if you are able, and receive some well-deserved thanks from our graduates. Thank you. At this time, I am pleased to introduce Coastal Carolina University's Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Bill Biggs. Thank you, Dr. DeCenso. On behalf of the Coastal Carolina University Board of Trustees, I congratulate the class of 2019 for reaching this milestone in your lives. I also want to welcome our faculty, distinguished guests, families, and friends. We're so glad that you have chosen to share this day with us. But graduates, you're the reason we're here today. It's our hope that through you, the mission of Coastal Carolina University is not only fulfilled, but is vibrant, flourishing today, and in the future. We work to help you become knowledgeable in your chosen field. And equally as important, that you prepare and grow to be productive, responsible, healthy citizens with a global perspective. But this is your day, and I'm proud to have each of you become an alumnus of this great university. From this point forward, you will represent Coastal Carolina University in all that you do. Remember the values of CCU, tradition, integrity, and excellence. As you cross this threshold, know that your character, achievements, and service to others will contribute to the greatness of Coastal Carolina University. Now, as chairman of the board, I do get to do things a little different. Um, and before graduation, sometimes I walk around and talk to different people. And um, some of you don't know whose parents I'm talking to. <clears throat> but years ago, when I first started this, uh, Alan Hall. Alan, where you at now? I know you're up here close. Stand up. Alan was the first student that I got to speak about, and his mom, Patrice Hall. Patrice, where you at? Stand up. I met Patrice in a bar at, at, at a nice hotel, and, and we got talking, and I said, you want to embarrass your son? She said, oh, please. So we did. But today, you've stayed, and you're graduating with your masters. I know your mom's as proud as you as all of us. And then I get upstairs talking to Woody off of our alumni association, 
And he said, my son's graduating. I said, who is he? He said, Little Woody. Where's Little Woody? <laughs> little Woody, stand up. <laughs> he don't look that little to me. Business management has worked at different jobs, sometimes two jobs, while he was going to school with the Britain Company. But his grandparents are also here, Woodrow and uh, Ruth. Is it Ruth? Am I getting it right? I can't read my own writing. Rose, where are y'all at? I can't see. His grandfather, 29 years serving our country in the military, a Vietnam veteran. I won't stay standing. How many of our graduates today are veterans? If you're a veteran graduating today, please stand up. Thank you for your service. All other veterans who have served this country, stand up and join them. If you have served your country, thank you very much for making us the greatest country in the world. But I, I got to meet them, but I'm not going to ask this person to stand up quite yet. But I got to meet somebody today that was just amazing. She's graduating today with a degree in interdisciplinary studies. And what's really amazing, she moved here from the Boston area, but uh, last week she actually had a birthday. She turned 89 years old on December the 4th. Miss Doris Glass is graduating today, and when I was talking to her, you know, she said, well, you know, Miss Brown, or, or Professor Brown was a great help to me. Talking about one of her professors, um, that helped lead her to her degree in interdisciplinary studies. And I said, so now what did you do before you decided to come to college? She said, well, I retired from Prudential. My husband and I traveled the world. We saw a lot, and we got tired of that. And she said, so I decided to come back to school. And I said, so where are you going to work when you get done? <laughs> and uh, she said, well, I've already applied to go get my master's. <laughs> Miss Glass, please stand up. She is graduating. <laughs> Miss Glass is graduating cum laude today. And I got thinking, well, I graduated summa cum laude and uh, was very proud of that. But um, I asked her, I said, well, what, what about Coastal? What was the most fun? She said, the boys. <laughs> and I'm like, really? And she said, yeah, they, they just welcomed me in. They treated me great. They let me do all the writing. I'm like, yeah, that's like <laughs> us guys. Um, but Miss Glass, you are somebody for all of us to look up to. You're never too young or too old to continue your education. You have touched so many lives and I think you will continue to touch them and I hope I'm here when you graduate with your masters. Thank you all very much for allowing me to be here. God bless and go CCU. Thank you, Chairman Biggs. I now invite Provost Dennis to join me in recognizing the graduating students whose stellar academic work has qualified them for the President's Award for Academic Achievement. Students, if you'd start on your way up. These remarkable students have earned the highest academic distinction, summa cum laude, because they've earned a perfect 4.0 grade point average for all of their collegiate work. At this time, I invite our President's Award candidates to the stage. Alyssa Celeste Connor from Myrtle Beach, has earned a Bachelor of Arts in English and is a member of the HTC Honors College. Anna Grace McLean from Hemingway, South Carolina, has earned a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration and Marketing. Shantae Michelle Clement from Greenville, South Carolina, has earned a Bachelor of Arts in Digital Cultural and Design. And Emily Sue Dosher from North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, who's earned a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy. Congratulations to each of you on this outstanding achievement.
In addition to these students, we will recognize an additional graduate for her academic achievement during the evening's commencement ceremony. I now ask Jazz Jackson, President of the Student Government Association, to, to come forward and introduce today's speaker. Jazz is a political science major and Hispanic studies double major from Rock Hill, South Carolina. She has served on several SGA committees as a senator for the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts. She's a member of Leadership Challenge, the SNAP Mentoring Program, Women of Color, the National Society of Leadership and Success, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society, and a 2019 initiate of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Jazz? Thank you, Provost Ennis. It is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Ron Day, our keynote speaker. He is known by many by Mr. Ron from Nick Jr.'s award-winning and internationally broadcasted television program, Gullah Gullah Island, where he and his wife, Natalie, held starring roles. He has promoted awareness of the Gullah Geechee culture and history for more than 30 years through numerous publications and recordings. He has participated in numerous Gullah Geechee projects and is featured on a video exposition at the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History. Mr. Ron currently serves as the Vice President for Creative Education at Brook Green Gardens in Merle's Inlet. And he has received various awards throughout his career, some of which include the Order of the Palmetto, South Carolina's highest honor, multiple Parents' Choice Awards, a Daytime Emmy nomination, and nominations for NAACP Image Awards. The South Carolina African American Heritage Com Commission Lifetime Achievement Award, and most recently, the 2019 South Carolina's Governor's Distinctive Achievement Award. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Ron Days to the stage. Students of the Coastal Carolina University Class of 2019, congratulations on reaching a momentous moment in the journey of life. Soon and very soon, you, yes, each of you, will march across this platform to receive a long-awaited degree. Now, I am so pleased to have been selected to share with you words of wisdom and encouragement, marching orders no less, as you step into the future. Now some of you, not many I hope, may have secretly voiced this idle declaration. After today, I am never going to pick up a textbook again <laughs> in life. Now don't raise your hand or otherwise self-identify, please. But all, please realize that this, this day marks only the beginning of continued education. You have not yet reached the pinnacle of understanding, self-awareness, or wisdom. As stated by Albert Einstein, intellectual growth should commence at birth and cease only at death. Stay hungry for knowledge via textbooks or otherwise. American rapper, songwriter, producer, entrepreneur, and record executive Jay-Z concluded that he is hungry for knowledge. The whole thing is to learn every day, to get brighter and brighter, he stated. That's what this world is all about. You look at someone like Gandhi, he, and he glowed. Martin Luther King glowed. Muhammad Ali glowed. I think that's from being bright all the time and trying to get brighter, unquote. Now, I want to begin by giving a shout out to your parents and guardians who are celebrating with you today. They are the ones who have encouraged you to glow by ensuring that your cognitive, intellectual, and social development commenced and thrived on the sights, the sounds, the literature, the individuals, the numerous activities and resources with which you have been interacting since childhood. 
I'm aware that many of you were introduced during your preschool years to a Nick Jr. TV show on which my family and I starred. As I've walked about your campus this year, uh, some students, upon recognizing me, have begun softly singing the show's theme song. <laughs> Come and let's play together in the bright sunny weather. Or whispering to others around them, isn't that the man from Gullah Gullah Island? <laughs> now, throughout the show's four seasons and in reruns, many of you sang the songs and watched my wife, Miss Natalie, and me interact with our TV family and our Gullah Gullah Island community members. It was a daily learning experience, yes? So, for the next six to eight minutes, I hope to prepare you for life, your next step in life, with what I'll call four life lessons from songs of Gullah Gullah Island. <laughs> Lesson number one. Do as I'm doing. The song lyrics invited listeners to do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Now, who remembers that song? <laughs> the song leader implored you to jump, hop, skip, or stomp. What made you follow whatever he or she had been doing? It was the character that the songster demonstrated. Make sure then, future alumni, that when you encourage others to follow your lead, that when you're out and about living your life without even the slightest intention to influence others, that, believe it or not, others indeed will be watching you. In your applications and resumes for jobs, in your pursuit of organizational appointments and entrepreneurial opportunities, ensure that you exemplify the values of excellence and learnedness with which the professors of this noble institution endeavored to instill within you. I am proud to state that one of my staff members in the Creative Education Department at Brook Green Gardens, which I supervise, is an alumna of the Coastal Carolina University Spadoni College of Education, having majored in early childhood education. She informed me that her professors urged her to, and her classmates to, quote, be professional in all their educational and occupational pursuits. Her degree of professionalism is one that you should model. In a clarion voice and with confidence, she extols students, volunteers, and co-workers to do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. And without hesitation, they do. In short, don't be half-hearted about your pursuits. A Gullah proverb I learned from my father is, half-cooked rabbit don't make no stew. <laughs> now you heard me. Half Cook rabbit, don't make no stew. It means pursue your dreams, work, responsibilities, and affairs with excellence and without procrastination. Utilizing only a fraction of your energies and abilities will accomplish only a fraction of your capability and realize only a fraction of your goal. Unless you fully cook a rabbit, you won't make a good supper. And accordingly, others will not vie to follow in your footsteps. Another song to motivate you is lesson number two. Yes, I can. When something seems too hard to do, three little words will get you through. Don't be angry, don't be sad. Three little words will make you glad. Say yes, I can. Say yes, I can. You can do it for yourself. Say yes, I can. Now, there will be times when your sports coach, theatrical director, military leader, or company teammate will ask you to step 
out of your comfort zone and accomplish goals that you may never have considered yourself capable of achieving. Don't get stuck in a prison of self-doubt. No, instead, stretch, then research, innovate, resonate, and proclaim your achievements to the world. Take a moment and look around yourselves in the sea of teal, bronze, and black, robes, collars, and caps. You, or one who has walked these hallowed halls with you, could become the one to find the answer to climate change, to legislate laws for equal justice and fairness, or to be named a MacArthur Fellow, that is, a recipient of the Genius Award because of extraordinary origina originality and dedication in creative pursuits and a marked capacity for self-direction. Damon John, American businessman, investor, television personality, author, and motivational speaker stated, five days a week, I read my goals before I go to sleep, and when I wake up, there are 10 goals around health, family, and business with expiration dates, and I update them every six months. Are you capable of attaining one of the aforementioned accomplishments? In preparation, you may need to align your days with the intensive goal-setting practice established by Damon Johnson, or Damon John, or more simply, just remember to inspire yourself with three little words. Just say, yes, 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 I can. Yes, 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 I can. Well, the third life lesson from Songs of Gullah Gullah Island is from the song Juba. Now, Juba is a sort of dance described as a thigh-slapping art. It originated in West Africa and was performed by enslaved Africans and their descendants, including the Gullah Geechee people and those from other cultures of the African diaspora. The song involves slapping various parts of the body, especially the hips, thighs, chest, and arms, and also stomping. The noise of the slapping and the stomping plays the role of percussion in the song, keeping the beat. Juba, Juba, Juba this and Juba that. Juba gonna skin a yellow cat. Juba, Juba, come on on the floor and Juba with me. Now, researchers, like those who have received training in the Charles Joyner Institute for Gullah and African Diaspora Studies, should be equipped to document that the song and others like it did not originate as or should not be used to qualify stereotypical minstrelsy or idiocy. In addition to being an art form, it's a song of resistance and a herald to spiritual forces to relieve misery, mistreatment, or dysfunction. The verse state, verses state, we grow the corn, they give us a husk. We bake the bread, they give us the crust. We raise the meat, they give us the skin. That's how they take us poor souls in. Juba this and Juba that. Juba gonna kill a yellow cat. Juba, Juba, come on on the floor and Juba with me. Now, just as the singers of Juba found themselves confronted with concerns, including hostility, psychological, physical, and emotional intimidation and bullying, as well as a denial of human rights, what issues of misery, mistreatment, and dysfunction must you and or others deal with day in and day out? Racism, sexism, xenophobia, gun violence, I'm reminded of American businessman Byron Allen's identification of the three Ds of inequality. They occur when others forcefully attempt to dismiss you, discredit you, demonize you, and then destroy you. 
If you find yourself on this less than optimal end of the scale of justice, or if you find yourself weighting the scale downward for others to dismiss, discredit, demonize, and destroy your fellow men and women, what will you do to bring about improvement? Do any other present day issues come to mind? Call out the ones that you believe deep down within you that need to be eradicated or shut down. It's up to you to come to the table in your communities, your states, your country, to make the world a better place for humankind. And when you assemble, remember not to sojourn toward the task alone. No, no, no. First, embrace the spiritual forces of the great I am to sustain you, to empower you, to enable you to help others to endure and journey on. Success isn't about how much money you make, said former First Lady Michelle Obama. It's about the difference you make in people's lives. For those who don't know, Mrs. Obama's ancestral heritage is rooted in nearby Georgetown County. Well, that's about it, class of 2019. I hope that this has been a commencement address that you will remember and find meaningful throughout the days and years to come. Now, didn't I entitle my theme for life lessons from songs of Gullah Gullah Island? I've identified only three, haven't I? Do as I'm doing about modeling excellence. Yes, I can about self-motivation and juba about spiritual alignment to overcome challenges. I guess I'd be remiss to not share with you a lesson from the song that many of you are most familiar with, the Gullah Gullah Island theme song. Now there's a Gullah Geechee expression in the song's lyrics for which I proudly claim responsibility for its inclusion. Just take your foot in your hand. Just take your foot in your hand. That means hurry up, but don't miss the good things that we planned. Taking your foot in your hand gives the optic of a jackrabbit scurrying, moving so quickly that its two front legs seem to meet its two hind legs as though its two rear legs are grasped in the hands of the two front ones. Class of 2019. It's time to take your foot in your hand. The time to share your gifts, your talents with the world is now. So when you hear new words to the tune of the theme song, please feel free to sing along. Now as a recap for some and a full explanation to others, there is a two word call and response refrain that follows the verses. Allow me to recite one verse. Lots to see and to do there. All we need now is you there. Let's all go to Gullah Gullah Island, for which the refrain is Gullah Gullah, Binya Binya. Now, for those who do not know, Binya Binya is the name of the family pet polywog. Now, here's the thing. Please substitute the words of the refrain. Substitute Gullah Gullah with CCU, and substitute Binya Binya with Chanticleer. Those two refrains must always follow each other, not Gullah Gullah Binya Binya, but CCU Chanticleer. Got it? Now, the words of the call that you'll be listening for will not be Gullah Gullah Island, which is a fun-filled but imaginary place. The words to listen for are a CCU graduate, which soon will be your reality. Are you ready? (laughs) 
go forth and please remember you must make the world better when you become a CCU graduate. CCU, shine clear, lots to see, lots to do. Now make a stand in the world now as you become a CCU graduate. CCU, shine clear, just take your foot in your hand. That means hurry up, day by day, you must make a plan to go forth. And please remember, you must make the world better when you become a CCU graduate. A CCU graduate. A Coastal Carolina University graduate, soon you will become. Congratulations. Step boldly into your future. Now, my final words of encouragement for you, stated as one whose voice some of you may have been familiar with since childhood, are these. Make yourselves proud. Thank you, Mr. Days. Let's give him another round of applause. One of his closing comments was, your time has come, and that is where we are officially to confer the degrees to our graduates. Provost Ennis, please join me again to present the degree candidates. Students who are graduating with academic honors, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude are noted in the program, as well as those who have achieved multiple degrees. Students who are eligible for graduation with honors wear the embroidered official white stole with the university seal at graduation. Also, students who are members of the HCC Honors College, the Wall Fellows, the Jackson Scholars, the Swain Scholars, the Teaching Fellows, the Dyer Fellows, or other selected university honors programs are eligible to wear the university stole. Students wearing the teal and black cords have earned the trustee award. Will the class of 2019 please rise? <laughs> Mr. President and the members of the Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to announce the presentation of our degree candidates. Thank you, Provost Ennis. Graduates, by the virtue of the authority vested in me by the people of the state, acting through their representatives in the General Assembly and the Board of Trustees of this university, and on the recommendation of the faculty thereof, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended, which entitles you to all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates. At this time, I ask the first row of candidates to follow the student marshals. Everyone else, if you would please be seated and enjoy the special music provided by the Coastal Carolina University Brass Ensemble. Interim Dean Robert Young joins President Asenzo to offer congratulations to graduate degree candidates from the College of Graduate Studies and Research. Dean Barbara Ritter joins President Asenzo and Dean Young to offer congratulations to degree candidates from the E. Craig Wall Senior College of Business Administration 
earning the degrees Masters of Accountancy and Master of Business Administration. Maria Louise Costa. Okay. Stephanie Elizabeth Roa. Taylor Austin Zeitler. Joshua Blake Anderson. Sarah Julianne Booth. Niona Kenchina Gilliam. Matthew Ryan Hydock. Barbara Jane Long. Francesco Migliano. Benjamin Luke Saplaway. Monica Nicole Stukes. Dean Claudia Bornholt joins President DeCenzo and Dean Young to offer congratulations to degree candidates from the Thomas W. and Robin W. Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts, earning the, earning the degree Master of Arts. Robert Christopher Fletcher. Alan Michael Hall. Krista Noel Bulovsky Herman. Is there a white card? Ian or Ian? Ian Alexander John. Reagan Michelle Johnson. Sarah Marie Navin. Dean Sarah Hottinger, Dean Ritter, and Dean Bornholt join President DeCenzo to offer congratulations to degree candidates from the HTC Honors College. Alyssa Celeste Connor. Nicole Hannah Connor, magna cum laude. Alana Elena Marie Jaroska. Emily Irene Johnson, magna cum laude. Krista Lynn Kochka, cum laude. Caitlin Nicole Lloyd. Shelby Ann Mench, cum laude. Madison Marie Now, cum laude. Andrew Lawrence Nye, magna cum laude. Haley Marin Phillips, magna cum laude. Madeline Faith Rodriguez, Madam, magna cum laude. Andrina. Michaela Andrina Maria Ruiz, cum laude. Nicole Ann Snow, Alexis Nicole Stein, cum laude. 
Dean Ritter joins President Desenzo to offer congratulations to degree candidates from the E. Craig Wall Senior College of Business Administration, earning the degrees Bachelors of Arts and Bachelors of Science in Business Administration. Jonah O. Adesso. Carlos Germain Aguirre, Jr. Graham McNeil Anderson, magna cum laude. Andrew Tyler Arney, cum laude. Michelle Lynn Arnold. Alpha. Bryce Daniel Alfo. Colin Joseph Banks. Harley Marie Barrett. Amanda Marie Beck. Matthew Tyler Bergman. Trevor Wynn Bigham, magna cum laude. Brian Lewis Blanchard. Andrew James Blockinger. Jacob Edward Charles Bosick. Kevin Matthew Bwasi, magna cum laude. Cameron Casey Bolton. Mallory Lynn Boyle. Jesse Dupree Branham. Alessandra Kirsten Brzezinski. Lucas Jordan Brock. Kendra Lenora Brianne Campbell. Christopher Michael Caponera. Alexis Lillian Carpenter. Dimitri Carter. Kiefer McAllen Kassler. Jerry Ray Causey III. Kyle Brendan Schwanard. Malik Antonio Christian. Richard Paul Sincata. Jonathan Barry Clayton, magna cum laude. Charles Jonah Conant, magna cum laude. Scott Daniel Corley. Ebubechukwu David Osuagwu. Emily Madison Davis, magna cum laude. Michael William Del Duca. Victoria Demchenkova. James Michael Deaver, Jr. Alexis Kim Dobbs. Yeah. 
Ramiz Durek. Nicole Edwards. Stephanie Carol Eliason, summa cum laude. John Curtis Fanning. Luis Fernando Barra Faria, Jr., cum laude. Austin Levi Falk. Lauren Moran Feely. Dejanae Lewis Fields. Colin James Fisher, magna cum laude. Woodrow Ford the Fourth. Alexander Hampton Franklin, cum laude. Charles Thomas Frederick the Fourth. Richard Louis Fructerman the Fourth, cum laude. Dequandra Isolacu Gadson. Logan Matthew Gebards. Austin Charles Green. Patrick William Green. Nicholas Giovanni Gregoire. Matthew Eric Haddon, cum laude. Brian Michael Holleran. Jacob Martin Hedberg. Brittany Rena Henline, cum laude. Troy Eric Husel, magna cum laude. Alana Page Hill. Madeline or Madeline? Madeline Murphy Hill. Sarah Isabella Hooks. Kayla Elizabeth Jackson. Travante Shamari James. Schaefer Andrew Jenkins. Mariana Marie Johnson. Rebecca Ariana Jones. Chloe Verbon Ketterer. Leah Sakai Kodazai. Kelsey L. Koss, cum laude. Ethan Michael Ledoux, cum laude. Kyle James Lambert. Stephen Kurt Lambert. Elizabeth Leonardi. Chad Peter Larue. David Earl Lovett. 
Dinika Marie Lubel, Jawan Jakeem Mack, Austin Andrew McWinney, Ashley Nicole Mayer, Savannah Joyce Martin. Brendan James Mathias. Elizabeth Angela Mazatenta. Robert Johnson McCarthy. Shannon Strickland McCormick. Patrick Ryan McInerney. Anna Grace McLean, summa cum laude. Dylan Hunter McSheffrey. Bailey Ann McSwain. Emma Karen Melton, magna cum laude. Devin Thomas Moore. Julius Otterain Leroy Myrick. John Anderson Newcomb, Jr. Sarah Morgan Newcomb, magna cum laude. Caleb Heath Nobles. James Christopher Neusbaum. Christopher Robert Oxford, magna cum laude. Nicholas K. Pace. Daniel Joseph Panetti. Morgan Bailey Panko. Emily Ann Paradise. Preksha Narendra Patel. Gabrielle Alexis Pecote, cum laude. Dustin Kaulana Perry. James Jamar Perry. Tyler Benjamin Peterson. Robert Anthony Picano III, magna cum laude. Mary Hannah Prock. Juliet Sai Rajagapul. <laughs> Jeremiah Adrian Benjamin Reed. <laughs> Casey Elise Rosenblum. <laughs> Zachary Taylor Roich. Hannah McEwen Schmidt. Gabrielle Victoria Schwalm. Rebecca Leanne Scott, cum laude. Summer Noel Shaw Henderson. Logan David Simpkins. Amber Elizabeth Singleton. Mackenzie Gray Smith. Robin Smith.
Joseph Eugene Smythe. Joseph Daniel Stopsky. Ryan J. Sullivan. Lauren Swank, cum laude. Ashley Ryan Tewksbury, cum laude. Colin John Van Vliet, cum laude. Samantha Jade Veltra. Johnny Hugh Ward III, cum laude. Donnelly Patrick Wolf, magna cum laude. Justin Lee Yazisi. Nastasha Yemelyanova, magna cum laude. Marshall Howard Younginger. Michael Ryan Zabrowski. Paul Samuel Zeuchner, cum laude. Dean Bornholt joins President Desenzo to offer congratulations to degree candidates from the Thomas W. and Robin W. Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts, earning the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Fine Arts. Leah Simone Alford. <laughs> Ethan Wayne Bioko. Kelan Jamal Barnes. Edward Joseph Barone III. Joshua Stewart Bautista, cum laude. Kirsten Elizabeth Bellamy. Raquan Malik Bennett. <laughs> Leslie Aaron Benning. Savannah Ashlyn Berry, cum laude. Imani Navasha Boatwright. Alyssa Ashley Brewer, cum laude. Charles Brewer. Taylor Nicole Brown, summa cum laude. Milani Rashawn Can. Marcus Dempsey Cannon. Alice Chetinkaya. Casey Marie Charette, cum laude. Shante Michelle Clement, summa cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth Condry. Devin Jax Conklin. Oops, sorry. Santayana J. Copeland. Asia Destiny Craft. Faith Christmas Craig, magna cum laude. Lauren Ashley Craps. Anthony Matthew Curry. Lauren Davis. 
Megan Claire Davis, cum laude. Kobe Thomas DeLuccia. Dahlia Lee Dahan, magna cum laude. Mackenzie N. Deutsch. Emily Sue Dosher, summa cum laude. Austin Melvin Drayton. Alexander James Dubril. Priscilla Danielle Duke. Sarah Mervet El Khatib, cum laude. That's all right. I'll pause. Camila Irazo. Jillian Rebecca Evans, cum laude. Kaylee Marie Fallon. Kelly Ryan Gardner. Julia Elise Gagon. Tyra Lanise Gilliard. Jeremy Anton Govan. Jaquez Ramon Hairston. Joseph Stratton Grout, magna cum laude. Matthew Dalton Hardy. Wyatt Monroe Herring. Kyle Wesley Hickman. Justin Bradley Holloway. Anna Cecilia Huerta. Caitlin Renee Jenkins. Faisal Abdur Johnson. Elise Anna Jones. Nathaniel Thomas Jones. Lauren Amy Key Goliakovsky, cum laude. Taylor Nicole Kennedy, magna cum laude. Caleb Joshua Neese, cum laude. Christopher Lawrence Kozar. Abigail Jo Lesnar. Melissa Ann Litchfield. Tyler William Mata. Alex Maurizio Cum Laude. Miasha Sinquise McCall. Isaiah Kashan McLure Wilson. Marista Ariel Mercer. Rachel Therese Migone, cum laude. Jake Francis Mimna. Morgan Taylor Morini. Joretta Lizzie Morris, cum laude. 
Lily Jane Morris, magna cum laude. Natanya Morse. Grace Elizabeth Movali. Harry Robert Myers IV. Taylor Nicole Nacy. Stella Elizabeth Notaro. Jacob John Okurian III. Joshua John Parsons, cum laude. Brooke Danielle Pascal, cum laude. Ashley Nicole Piraji. Bethany Rexlin Plymali. Rebecca Marilyn Paoli, cum laude. John Tavia Elaine Denise Prather. Mason David Putnam. Kelsey Ann Rainier, cum laude. Celia Ann Ritchie, cum laude. Julia Ann Shoup. Tyra Kadisha Simon. Sunny Lee Simone, cum laude. Skylar M. Sims. Kyle Gary Skeels. Cody R. Smith. Jonathan Smith. Victoria Lane Smith, cum laude. Akila Chantel Stroman. Jennifer Danielle Tasco. Brianna Lichelle Taylor. <laughs> Hannah Grace Thompson, <laughs> cum laude. Hannah! Emily Catherine Thorpe. <laughs> Catherine Amanda Todd, cum laude. Frank Deltony Veal, Jr. Alexandra Caitlin Vereen. Clarence Ferdinand Wallace III. Christopher Coleman Warner, cum laude. Javoya Janeris Matisse Washington. Sydney Taylor Watson, magna cum laude. Corey Ann White. Dakota Lukaya White, magna cum laude. Dajane Dominique Williams. Jillian Lane Williams, magna cum laude. Ethan Barry Wilson, cum laude. Hannah Lauren Wilson, magna cum laude. Mark David Wright. Stephen Anthony Yakovachi.
Dean Hottinger joins President Desenzo to offer congratulations to degree candidates from the HTC Honors College and Center for Interdisciplinary Studies, earning the Bachelor of Arts in, Inter in Interdisciplinary Studies and Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies degrees and the Certificate of Sustainability. Maya N. Bellamy, cum laude. Cardesia Shaquel Douglas, cum laude. Jalen Lanou Edie. Doris Glass. Nakara Hess. Cameron Mark Maddox. Eric Cleveland Moore, Jr. Gabriella Masuto. Katlego Nsalbalang. Jordan Malik Pinkney. Geronimo Julian Power. Isabella Romano. Gabrielle Rebecca Rookard. Kirsten Rose Smith. Terrence Lamar Smith, Jr. Mary Patricia Suarez. Colton James Walker. Jamon Reneke Marion Williams. Clinicia Chantel Woods. Graduates, would you please rise? I ask that all members of the Coastal Carolina University Class of 2019 to move your tassels from the right side to the left to signify your status as a graduate. Congratulations. You may be seated. It's my pleasure to introduce Coastal Carolina University Alumni Association Second Vice President, Mr. Woody Ford. Woody? Thank you, Dr. Desenzo. Before I get started, I just want to take a quick minute and congratulate my son, Woody, on receiving his degree today. Uh, Woody, your mother and I are so very, very proud of you. We love you very much. 
and I'm excited to call, be able to call you not only my son, but also fellow graduate of the Wall School of Business, as well as an alumni of this great university. And I'm very, very excited to not to have to write another tuition check on your behalf. <laughs> All right, back to the program. Graduates, I'm excited to be the first one to say to you, good afternoon, alumni. You made it. It is truly an honor to be with you on this monumental day in your life. More than 33,000 alumni from all 50 states and numerous countries from around the world join me today in congratulating you on your hard-earned achievement. Now, I would like to ask if there are any Coastal Carolina University alumni in the audience or on stage, if you would stand and remain standing with me for just a minute. Any graduates, any alumni of Coastal in the audience or on stage, stand and remain standing for just a moment. <laughs> graduates, look around you. You, have you are now a member of this exclusive group we proudly call Alumni of Coastal Carolina University. Welcome. Alumni, you may be seated. Thank you. <laughs> Members of this alumni family include an Emmy-nominated actor, an Olympian, and the head coach of the 2016 College World Series National Championship Baseball Team, just to name a few. We look forward to following your rise to greatness. As a new graduate, we're providing each of you today with a one-year membership into the Coastal Carolina University Alumni Association. Through the Alumni Association, you will discover many opportunities to be involved with your alma mater. In the years ahead, I hope you continue to stay connected to Coastal as alumni, as volunteers, as ambassadors, or as proud supporters. By continuing to engage in CCU, you will pave the way for those to come after you. Your active participation will strengthen an already thriving university. As alumni, you make us proud and show the value of a degree from Coastal Carolina University. Be proud and celebrate this day and your great accomplishments. And remember, you will forever be a Chanticleer and a member of Teal Nation. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, Woody. Before we close the celebration, please join me in recognizing all the individuals throughout this institution who have planned and prepared for weeks to make the celebration of your accomplishments a memorable and enjoyable one. Thank you. I also want to take a moment to wish everyone a very happy and safe holiday season. Graduates, at Coastal Carolina University, we follow a beloved tradition that takes place as you leave commencement. Faculty members will line the exit on each side to congratulate you, ushering you through to the next chapter of your life. This tradition is truly symbolic of what we set out to do at CCU, to cultivate a supportive environment that surrounds you with encouragement guidance and wisdom. My hope is as you journey ahead is that your time spent here at Coastal, the impact you've made, the achievements and the challenges you've had overcome has provided you with experiences to pull from, making you aware of the circumstances around you, motivating you to get involved and to take action and inspiring you to make a positive difference within your communities and the lives of others in your midst. Now, will everyone please stand, if you're able, and join us in the singing of the alma mater. The words are printed on your back cover. Ask that you please remain standing for the benediction and the recessional. And again, congratulations, class of 2019. Go Shants!
graduating class of fall 2019, congratulations. I invite you to take these words, holding them close and using them as you continue to change our world. May you be bold, bold in your ambition, bold in your humility, bold in your hope, and bold in working to create a world where all are seen and all have the opportunity to thrive. Your time and hard work has equipped you. We are proud of the people you have become. We pray for your future. We bless you with a faith and foundation that will continue to guide you. Teal Nation, go and represent this hallowed place with gusto, with joy, and with enthusiasm. As Oscar Wilde said, be yourself, everyone else is already taken. May you go in peace and be blessed abundantly. Amen.
Thank you. 